what we have here, let me get this into focus for you, is a 3 watt LED that I got off Amazon. And we're going to show you how to wire these up uh, using a driver, an LED driver, which is right here. And because I'm wiring about 50 of these up, this is the LED driver I chose. And basically it takes us down to 12 volts, a constant 12 volts. And so we need to do a little bit of wiring with the LEDs to make it work. And I'm going to show you that here in just a minute. Because these LEDs are running about 3.5 volts each, and the driver is putting out 12 volts, we got to keep the number of LEDs to try to match the output of the driver. So here are four LEDs I soldered in and we're going to just plug that in for you. And as you can see it works just fine. But what if we were to add let's say one to the string? Let me show you. Here, we've added one extra LED to the original four. Let's see what happens. Well, they're lit, but not nearly as bright, of course, because there's too many LEDs using too much voltage. So let's add one additional one and see what happens. So let's see what happens when we've added two extra to the original four nothing. There's not enough power coming from the driver to power all of these LEDs so we have absolutely no effect. Now if we were to remove some of the LEDs let's say down to two what would happen is we'd fry the LEDs because they're getting too much voltage. Okay, the first thing we're going to do is go ahead and line out the uh, LEDs in their places, which I've already marked on it, on the railing. And we're going to go ahead and do this with all of them, making sure we have the negative and positive in the correct place that we want them. And we're going to go all the way down the line on every mark. Um, and actually, we're going to start with the reds, and we're going to skip one, and do another one, skip one, and do another one. And then we're going to come back with the blues and fill in. And I'm going to throw a couple white LEDs in the middle somewhere and maybe on the edge just to uh, be easier on my eyes. So, uh, and then we'll come back to uh, go ahead and use our thermal bond. And uh, this is the Arctic Alumina. Okay, we currently have the reds all lined out, and I got the uh, positives going to on the left side, negatives on the right, and they're all exactly lined out the way they should be all the way down. And of course, you'll notice that I skipped a space in between each one because that's where the blues are going to go. And uh, but I want to start with one at a time, and we're going to go ahead and uh, put down these reds first. Now this Arctic Alumina bonding is uh, cures in about five minutes and you want to mix it one to one and you don't have a whole long time to work so you just want to use just a little bit at a time and uh, once you do that then you want to start applying it to your LEDs and then sticking them on right away. So I got part A down. I'm just going to apply part B and again you're only using just just a little bit matching it one to one. And you don't want to have too much in there. And we're going to just give this a little 
mix and I'm just using q-tips as an applica application and giving it a good stir okay and we're going to apply it to the back of our LEDs and just kind of paint it on there good again we only got about five minutes and uh, if we don't use it up then that's wasted so there we go and we got our first LED on I am wearing gloves for this Just give it a little push just to make sure that we got a good connection. And I'm probably out of frame of view now, so I think we're going to stop filming here. Okay, now that we have the uh, red lights already on and they're thermally bonded we're gonna go ahead and uh, lay out the uh, lay out the package of blue again keeping in mind where our negative and positives are going uh, makes it easier when we go to wire if everything's in the uh, correct order so I'm gonna go ahead and lay out the blues in between each one of these reds and then I'll get back to you at that point when I've done both sides and then we'll start on the wiring okay I have all of the uh, LEDs on and of course it goes you know blue red blue red and all the way down and then there are the opposite on the other side I did throw in a couple white ones right here uh, just to be easier on my eyes one thing I did run into were a couple questionable um, can't really make that out I apologize a couple questionable ones uh, I put those on the very end in case I need to uh, redo these you see the solder is not real great on those and uh, not not in comparison to some of the other ones like that one's really crappy but uh, all the others look pretty good and that's the way they're supposed to look but as you can see that is not how that is but um, we'll see we'll wire them up and uh, take a look I should have probably uh, tested them first but that's for another day uh, for now we're just let this cure even though there it's done in about 10 minutes um, I'm gonna let it sit overnight before I do any more drilling or get the wiring done alright thanks okay um, well here I wanted to test these because uh, as you remember I said some of them weren't looking so good uh, so I wanted to give them a test so what I did was I just took two triple A's and it doesn't really matter what you use triple A double A D C they're all the same voltage they're 1.5 voltage and you put two of them together you know that gives you a three three volts that should be enough to run these LEDs um, the only difference between those batteries is that some last longer than others but the uh, 9 volts of course are 9 volts but uh, what I did was I just put tape two triple A's together and uh, I got two wires here this is my negative and this is my positive and we're just gonna hook it up to these uh, LEDs and see what happens here well there you have it so they look pretty good Ah, now this, oh, there it is, okay. So far, so good, and they all look pretty good. The ones that I was really concerned with look really good. That one's a little less bright, but um, let's, t let's try this one again. Well, they're about the same, I guess. So there you have it. That's how you can test uh, three watt LEDs. 
not harming them and you can go all the way through and of course you don't do this before you glue them on just in case but I got lucky so that's it for now okay now we're running tap splicers they're right here and uh, these are great little items uh, fairly easy to use and we're gonna be running our hot wire first positive and uh, so what you do is you just take your end that you want to splice, you just slide it in and take the main wire and well I guess you can put the main wire on first snap it in to where you want it slide that in your 2B spliced wire and what I do is I just kind of measure it up to where I want it make sure wires are straight here get it just about perfect here right where I want it to slide down and that's going to be about it right there hope you can see this and then you just take a pair of pliers and there's a little metal tab on there on the splicer it's hard to do this um, by yourself but put the pliers on give that little metal tab a squeeze and it's now spliced. And I'll show you one of these, what they look like up close. So here's what they look like. And then that's the little metal tab that you squeeze and it squeezes the wires in and taps them. And then you take that, fold it over, and it's a done deal. Then you can uh, take your newly spliced wire put it through the hole that you want which in my case it's right there and what I've been doing is just folding them over until we get ready to go ahead and do it and that's it now we're going to move on to the next one So now that we got this all installed, um, at least all the wiring done and all the soldering done, I'm going to test it here. I'm just using a 12 volt battery, and negative and positive, and perfect. All right, and I'll show you the battery. There we go. Just hooked it up, and uh, that's it for now. All right, the wiring is all completed and uh, we're going to plug it in for the first time and hope for the best. Here we go. Oh yeah! Oh my goodness! <laughs> Sweet. Alright, well there you have it. Uh, a whole lot of light. It's a whole lot of bright. <laughs>